Gearing up for the Hurricanes, we go wheels up on the short commuter flight to South Beach where Miami is a three-touchdown underdog to the Knolls. Here's their head coach, Al Golden. We've been an underdog a lot the last two years, you know, when we're trying to build it. So I'm not really worried about that. We just, it's going to be about execution at the end of the day. Um, they deserve their ranking. You know, they lost a lot of players to the draft and, uh, and were able to reload, you know. So that's the definition of uh, a program. They're doing a great job up there. Miami was able to overcome a fourth quarter deficit twice against Wake Forest. It's their best start in 10 years for the program. Plenty of questions to answer, though. They better find them fast with Florida State on the horizon. Here is ESPN.com ACC reporter Andrea Peterson. Miami relied on its ground game once again to pull out a closer-than-expected win over Wake Forest last week, turning to all-purpose back Duke Johnson. He had a career-high 30 carries, 168 yards, and two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. The final one with 53 seconds left to get Miami to win. There is no doubt the Hurricanes are going to need to have an outstanding game out of Duke Johnson this weekend against Florida State to be able to have any shot at the upset. But Johnson has taken on a larger share of the load in the Miami offense as quarterback Stephen Morris has struggled a little bit this season. So far on the year, Johnson has 122 carries. And he could be a difference because Florida State has struggled against power run games this year.